okay so using my ruler I need to draw the line that will be equals to 25 millimeters okay that's the first thing we need to do right draw a line of equals 25 millimeters I will label my line E and B. Now will be be using the forty five degrees L square, which is this one here. I need to put this flush to my with my T square. That's why I will be using this, and I need to make sure that it is flush with my T square. Okay, so I might need to right. You see. Proceed now to draw the line here. This way, and I will move my Z square, which is going to be this way as well. Okay, I have these two sides of my side of my octagon, but I need to now find the give the length, okay, which is 25 millimeters. I will need my compass. With my compass settled from A to B, I need to strike an arc here. I go now at point B with the same measurement. I need to strike an arc this way, alright? See? So I have two three sides of my octagon I need to draw the other sides as well I will continue using my Z square this one also and this time I need to draw it using a to put it flush with my Z square again okay using my 45 degrees Z square I need to draw a vertical line going up this way from the arc here and draw a vertical line coming from this arc here okay All right so we have it I need to give the length to these two sides so remember that we I am we are using the length a b the compass is already set to a b so I will move now my compass to this here and I will strike an arc 
here I will move my compass right here and I will strike another arc okay so this is already my next two sides of my octagon right. now I need to draw the other side for the other side uh, because I have my square I will be doing the, this okay I will simply set my set square here I will draw a vertical line from here all the way up I will move my set square right here also Okay, another vertical line going up here. Now I need my compass. Which is already set to the length of AB. I will come on this arc that I strike here. proceed to strike an arc this way I will move my compass to this arc here and I'm gonna strike an arc so you notice I have the already the other side so what I need to do I need to join them now my octagon here I can now proceed to label my octagon point C B E F G and H That's my octagon already. Now I need to do the same step as the hexagon, meaning that I need to draw a square that would be around the. Remember that this here need to touch the all the points of my octagon. the square around the octagon and the square need to touch all the points of the octagon now I will proceed to turn around my set square I will use it in the other way okay How is it to make sure that your set square is flush with your ruler? Okay. In this case, your T square. Make sure you use your T square always. Let's 
that's it. This is my isometric axis. Isometric, isometric axis and for me to do that I need to use my compass so the first thing I'll do I will set my compass from 1 and I will open it all the way to 0.2 ok right there one two point two. I will come here. You see where one is. I will come this way, and I go and I gonna strike an arc here. Right. So this here will become number two. Now I need to find the point which is going to be number 4. So what I do again, I will come from number 1 to number 4. Okay. Right. I will come here. Number 1. Number 4. Label this as 4. I need to get now point 3. What I'll do here, I will come from 4. Since I already find 4, I will open it to 3 right here. I will go now point 4. I'm gonna strike an arc. If you notice, I cannot find point three yet because I need 